The certification of the import substituted version of the MC-21 airliner is making steady progress, with Russian aviation authorities maintaining a target of late 2026. At a meeting on civil aviation development at the Irkut Aviation Plant, Dmitry Yadrov, head of Rosaviatsia, revealed that only five foreign origin systems still require replacement. These include the meteorological radar, the collision warning system, the water vacuum system, the anti-icing system, and certain components of the aircraft's electrical supply. Since 2022, Russia's civil aviation industry has been driven by a single mission achieving full technological independence, and that mission is now entering its final phase. Yadrov emphasized that the MC-21 structure integrates over 200 interconnected systems and subsystems, making it the most technologically advanced narrow-body airliner ever produced in Russia. The last stage of the project now focuses on ensuring that these five new units meet certification standards set by the Ministry of Industry and Trade, the United Aircraft Corporation, and Rosaviatsia. According to the official schedule, the certification process should conclude by the end of 2026. The concept of import substitution has become central to Russian aerospace after Western sanctions cut off access to high-tech imports. For the MC-21, this meant designing and integrating domestic analogs for systems once supplied by Honeywell, Collins Aerospace, and Thales. Russia had to reconstruct these complex technologies within local frameworks, adapting supply chains and manufacturing capacity almost from scratch. The five systems awaiting final replacement are among the aircraft's most advanced. The meteorological radar depends on high-frequency sensors and advanced flight data processors. The anti-icing system manages temperature control across the wing surfaces. The collision warning system integrates avionics that process both ADSB and radar data. These are not simple mechanical parts. They are software-intensive modules requiring synchronized testing between algorithms and hardware. Russian replacements, developed by Rostec Enterprises, such as the Romenskoy Instrument Design Bureau, are now undergoing rigorous ground and flight tests to meet or exceed Western benchmarks. Yadrov confirmed that the prototype MC-21 has already completed 19 certification flights under Rosaviatsia's supervision. These tests examine key flight parameters, including stability, emergency power response, rudder control, and stall behavior. Alongside flight tests, extensive laboratory and ground trials have been certified under Russian state standards. Documentation proving compliance is being prepared to align both with national aerospace regulations and with legacy European equivalence methods. According to aviation analysis portals such as Aviation Russia and New Flight Technologies, the certification program is divided into two main phases. The first covers hybrid configurations combining Russian and imported systems to establish baseline performance. The second phase, now approaching, will test the fully Russified configuration featuring the PD-14 engine, domestic avionics, and entirely local systems. Yadrov reiterated that these tests should yield the final data needed for certification by late 2026. The PD-14, developed by United Engine Corporation, remains the core of Russia's civil propulsion independence. With high-efficiency combustion chambers and advanced composite fan blades, it delivers fuel efficiency comparable to Pratt & Whitney's PW1400G. Certified in 2022, it has since undergone extended reliability trials on the MC-21 test program. The aircraft's new technological identity is defined by the integration of the PD-14 with fully localized systems. Engineers successfully linked the aircraft's digital flight management system to the engine control unit using software built to Russian standards. Managing this interaction between airframe and engine was a major milestone. United Engine Corporation and Avia Pribor Holding also worked together to ensure electronic compatibility across systems once dependent on Western data architectures. This integration underscores the growing maturity of Russia's avionics design capabilities.
Rosaviazia and UAC maintain a consistent timeline. Serial production will begin as soon as certification is complete in late 2026. The Irkutsk Aviation Plant, where the MC-21 is assembled, has been upgraded since 2024 to handle domestically sourced systems. By mid-2025, Irkut launched parallel assembly lines for airframe sections made entirely from Russian composite materials, replacing earlier imported panels. These new composites, supplied by Prepreg SM, have reduced reliance on Western carbon fiber imports. Industry Minister Anton Alakanov recently confirmed that the first flight of the fully import-substituted MC-21 will take place soon. The original schedule targeted August 2025, though minor subsystem delays have shifted it slightly. Officials insist that the overall certification calendar remains unchanged and preparations for mass production are proceeding without disruption. The serial production phase will start immediately after certification, marking a milestone in Russian aviation. Rostec CEO confirmed that production will begin in parallel with final certification to avoid downtime between testing and delivery. Russia plans to produce between 36 and 48 aircraft annually by 2028, eventually reaching over 70 per year by 2030. The first deliveries will go to domestic airlines, including Aeroflot, Rossia, and Red Wings, all of which have preliminary contracts for MC-21 aircraft powered by PD-14 engines. Reports indicate that Irkut is establishing a permanent modular assembly center for the MC-21. This modular approach allows system upgrades to be introduced progressively without interrupting overall production. After completing integration of the PD-14 and electronic systems, engineers will fine-tune performance software based on flight feedback from certification missions. The success of import substitution and certification for the MC-21 represents more than a technical triumph. It signifies the restoration of autonomy in Russia's civil aviation strategy. Since 2022, the sector has evolved from dependence on foreign technologies to a self-reliant ecosystem encompassing engines, avionics, composites, and control electronics. This transformation aligns with the National Technological Sovereignty Program, the broader framework guiding Russia's pursuit of industrial independence. The MC-21 stands as both an aircraft and a symbol of resilience. Its certification paves the way for future models like the longer-range MC-21-400 and the wide-body L96 revitalization with PD-35 engines. Together, these programs aim to consolidate Russia's civil aviation production entirely under domestic control, ensuring steady growth in air transport despite ongoing sanctions. As 2026 approaches, the MC-21 certification journey reflects a deeper transformation in Russian aerospace thinking. The goal is no longer to imitate Western engineering, but to build and validate new Russian standards through local testing and certification. Once the final five systems, anti-icing, water vacuum, collision avoidance, meteorological radar, and power supply, receive approval, Rosaviazia will authorize full-scale production. The result will be the first Russian-made narrow-body airliner capable of competing internationally without relying on foreign components. Yadrov's confidence captures the broader mood of optimism within the industry. Each certification flight, each systems test, represents another small victory in the pursuit of technological sovereignty. The partnership between UAC, Rosaviazia, and Rostec ensures that Russian civil aviation is not merely recovering from sanctions, it is redefining its future. When series production begins at the end of 2026, it will mark the restoration of Russia's independent presence in global aerospace, built entirely on its own technological foundations. If you find this video informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take our membership to encourage us.